Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 22nd of 2022. Well, it is titled Earth's recent climate spiral. So what do we see here? Well, here we will see a video clip that will play in a minute and it will show the average temperatures on Earth as measured over the last 150 years or so and how they have changed. Now what we know from measurements over the last say 120 years is that the temperatures have on average increased from being a little below the uh, point here and we'll see those in the blue the cooler years that were mostly a long time ago 100 years ago to the ones in the red that we'll see will go all the way out past the plus one degree line at the end and those are the warmer years that occur in more recent times now the temperature on earth has changed significantly over the four billion years it's been around and in fact compared to recent times as in geological times over the last few hundred million years our temperatures are relatively cool however the concern is that the temperatures have risen rapidly over the last uh, last hundred years and that that could be caused by human uh, interference with the climate and especially burning of fossil fuels which releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so let's go ahead and take a look and see what the changes have been measured are. And as we go ahead and play the video, we'll see that it starts in 1880. And the temperatures are on the inner blue range. And then as we spiral around each year, we can see that they're staying relatively steady and actually moving up a little bit as we hit the early 1900s. And we're starting to get a few above that zero degree Celsius range, but that's relatively rare. As we hit the 1930s, and then in the 1940s, we start to get a few even warmer years and then sometimes it goes back into cooler and it really seems to change drastically as we begin to hit uh, the later part of the 20th century. So here we are in the 1970s crossing into the 80s and that's where we seem to start to hit the red zone. We can see it starting to zip out there a lot more and as we hit 2000 even more getting them out getting them further out and we'll see a few of them as we get up to the modern day that even go far beyond that plus one degree range. Now let's turn this a little bit so we can kind of see it three dimensionally how the temperatures have changed and we can see that in the 1880s inside it was very inside that inner zero degree and the last few were way outside way up there with the uh, much warmer temperatures. So again we're seeing here is the change change that we have noted that has occurred. Now to be uh, to be clear in science, the measurements are what we see as the data. And then the interpretation of them is what science tries to explain as to what is happening. So the observation is the temperatures and the temperatures have increased. The interpretation is then what is causing this. And that is what science tries to figure out through modeling. So are humans doing this through carbon dioxide emissions? And that's something that can be modeled and try to match up. And does that match with the changes that have occurred? And there could also be some natural occurrences because we do know that Earth's climate has changed in the past over millions of years uh, and hundreds of millions of years. It has changed when humans were not having a significant impact on it. So really what we want to do is to see how well the models fit and match up with this. And one of the difficulties in it, of course, is that we're looking at a very small set of data. And if you think about it, it's a 100 years worth, which to us is a long time. But to the history of the Earth with four and a half billion years worth of uh, climate data available is only a very small fraction of that entire set of data. So certainly based on what we see, it looks like the temperatures have shot up drastically, especially over the last 40 years or so 40 to 50 years, there's been a vast increase in these temperatures. 
So that was our picture of the day for August 22nd of 2022. It was titled Earth's Recent Climate Spiral. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be Meteor Mediterranean. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.